Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting Oc using Viper. In today's session, we are going to publish our test case into the orchestrator and we are going to run this from the orchestrator. So now you will be having one more question. Hey, you have previously shown me the test manager. Why are you not using this test manager over here? So here, since we have already used Excel as a data set, we are not going to use the test manager, which means you can use either test manager or you can use a spreadsheet which is used to transmit or which is used to test a bulk number of test data. So you can use either way. If you're comfortable with the test manager, you can go ahead and use a test manager or else you can directly go ahead and make a spreadsheet and cover all the test data and then you can directly come here and link to your project. Okay. So both the way will work here. So let me try to publish this test case. Since I already made my test case as a set as publishable, I'm going to publish this test case. Okay. Publish test case. So once I clicked on publish test case, it's analyzing everything. So now this will be my package name. Okay. So I was going to publish in my default now. So let me try to next, next, publish. Perfect. I guess it will be published now. So it was compiling everything before it is getting published. So let's wait. Started publishing. Yeah. So it has been published now. Perfect. So let me click on OK. So let me go to the orchestrator. Inside the orchestrator, we are going to check in our default folder. Studio is connected with the default folder. The particular package will be published in the orchestrator under the default folder. Okay. So let me go to the orchestrator. It's loading up. Our orchestrator got loaded. So here inside process one, let me go inside this. So you can see Acme test project test. So this is the one which you have published, right? So Acme test project. So this underscore test is a suffix will be automatically appended. So you have published the project to the orchestrator. So what will be the next step now? So just go to the testing. So you can see something called as testing or right? Go to the testing. So inside this, you are going to create your all test cases and then test sets. So let me go to the test cases. So here you can see right test cases, which are published over there. It automatically came over here. So once I clicked on execute, all your test cases will be executed one by one now. Okay. But so we have a drawback in this test cases. So we'll be not able to check the test coverage. So how many percentage has been executed, how we have seen in the studio, right? Likewise, if you didn't made your test set, you'll be not able to see your test coverage. Let me show you that as well. Let me try to execute it now. Okay. So it was asking the environment, which is testing. And then, so my, my particular account and then my machine. So this will be initial configuration, which you have to make it up. So let me click on execute. Perfect. So here you can see, right? One, two, three. So it will run one by one all the test cases. So let us wait and watch. So how it is executing everything. So it is launching the Acme site now. It is going to test the first data, which it has. So it is going to type the username and then password. Click on login. So now it is an incorrect username password, right? So what is the next step? So it is going to click on close. It is going to close this particular browser. So let's wait for that to happen. So 
but has been closed now so once it is closed you can see the result over there which is failed right so which mean it does not have the proper data okay so you're going to test everything now so it is going to run that second test case now which will have second input I mean this test case also it's going to be failed now so it has clicked on login it's looking for the dashboard screen it will be not able to and then it will try to close the browser it will move to the next test case So it has been closed now. So it will be moved from running to fail. Yeah, perfect. And the third test case is started to run now. So which has correct input. So let me wait and watch. It's the name, password. Perfect. So everything has been entered over there. So now it has been logged in. Unable to capture the dashboard. Let's close. Perfect. So now it has passed, right? How cool it is, right? So you can see if the test input which is not correct, so automatically you can go ahead and check so the negative test case as well as the positive test case. So you can see what the input has been passed over here. So once I clicked on this I, you can able to see. What are the input? So this is the input and password you have passed. And for this, this is the input and output. And for this, this will be the input and the output. Perfect. So likewise, you can able to see. So as I said before, so inside the coverage, see you can see right, coverage calculation is disabled for this execution. To collect the coverage details, please enable the calculation within the test set. So once you see here, you don't have any test set. That's why you're not able to see your test coverage. To see the coverage, what actually you have to do? So just click on this test add test set and then ACME login test set. So let me name the same over here. So here enable coverage calculation, yes. After that, try to pick your particular test project. Okay. And then next. So the same thing. So you are going to pick your test case as well. And then create. That's it. So you have embedded your test project as well as the test case inside this test set now. So you can click this execute button so that you can able to see your coverage as well. So it is going to repeat the same action. So let me click on execute. Okay, so are you want to show sure on execute? Yes. The now same one, two, three, all the test case will be executed. But now you can able to see your coverage as well. So let's wait for a few more minutes so that everything will be executed. Once everything is executed, so we can see your test coverage as well. So we're going to pick the second test case. So basically this test case will be helpful you to understand. So whether we have reached the desired page or not. Okay. So based upon that, you can take the next action. So where it is went wrong and you can easily improvise your development in this way of testing. Also, it will help you to make multiple changes after you once you are released to the productions. 
so it has been entered the username so it has entered everything perfect so it has been failed now so it is going to launch the third test case now so now it is going to enter the username and then password login so it was able to recognize the dashboard screen perfect done so now you can able to see the coverage so let me go to the coverage over here so coverage is in progress this take few seconds so let me try to visit after few seconds so that you can able to see the coverage over there yeah perfect right you can see the coverage so this is the main file hundred percent coverage in this you can see 78.50 sound percentage and then 78 so the past test case you can see 85.71 so likewise you can able to see the coverage as well in this way this is very cool right so you can able to find each and everything so where went wrong so each and everything you can able to test it up so before you are going to uh, push into production so this will basically help you to improve so where application based scenarios or like so we need to extend any time mode or anything so any all these stuffs you can able to use using this test suit automation and help you to find out the gray areas all the things in prior and help you to rectify all those as well i hope this particular video will be helpful for you thanks for watching happy learning have a good day